We're back with Philip Wynn this morning. Again, he's an oncology RN over at the Cabrini Cancer Center talking about sun protection. Uh, summer is here. You need to be careful when you're outside. Absolutely. Uh, this time of year when we have this much sun, mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, very important to help protect yourself against the sun. Against the sun. About 90% of melanomas are linked to sun exposure, exposure huh. to UVA and UVB rays. Right. Uh, really? Yes, about 90%. There are some that are not, uh, mm -hmm. but the vast majority of melanomas are. Uh, and so there's some very simple recommendations that we have uh, for protecting yourself in yeah, the sun. We've got a list right here. Obviously, wear and reapply the sunscreen. Uh, Absolutely. That's key. Absolutely, uh, and we recommend that you uh, that you wear a sunscreen of at least an SPF of 30. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to apply that before you go out into the sun, uh, and uh, reapply about every two hours. And right. especially if you're in the water. Absolutely, and they do recommend that if you swim or if you sweat a lot, yeah. uh, that you that you reapply after those activities okay. so that you get good protection. Well, also here, uh, you know, avoid the sun between you know the about worst time of the day they say 10 or 11 in the morning until 2 or 3 in the afternoon right to be safe we say about 10 to 4 okay uh, yeah those those hottest parts of the day uh, try to stay out of the sun as much as you can mm -hmm. or seek shade uh, yeah. just finding shade is a good way to protect but yourself. even on the beach I mean you ha you have the tent but the the reflection from the sun on the sand is still causing sun Absolutely. Nice. So you want to make sure uh, there's a good little saying: uh, you slip, slop, slap, and wrap. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Say that again. Slip, slop, slap, and wrap. Okay. <laughs> slip on a shirt or uh -huh. clothing that's going to cover uh, okay. parts of your skin. Yeah. Uh, slop on the sunscreen, uh, as we just discussed. Uh, you want to uh, slap on a hat uh, or something broad brim that's going to help provide shade and cover to your to your ears and your neck mm -hmm. uh, and face and then uh, wrap your eyes with sun protection like uh, sunglasses uh, which you can get melanoma of the eye so huh. uh, it just to kind of help pre prevent that. You need to protect your kids too. Oh absolutely yeah. uh, there's actually a very strong They don't think link. much about it. That's right but there's a very strong link between uh, early childhood sunburns mm -hmm. uh, and an increased risk in melanoma later on so it's very important to protect your children. Is there anything differently we need to do for the children? Is it a higher sunblock that we should use? It's actually the same recommendations. Okay. Uh, are, are pretty safe for children. Um, you do want to keep infants out of the sun as much as possible. Right. Uh, sure. But uh, same recommendations usually for children. Okay. We talked a little bit about detection, early detection. Right. Um, and that's a very big thing uh, because 90 percent of, of these can be, mm -hmm. you know, at least uh, linked to the sun. But, you know, if we don't prevent them, if they do pop up, yeah. Early detection is the key, and so we recommend those monthly self-exams. And what you want to look for, uh, it's it's ABCs, uh, A B C D E. Uh, you want to look for asymmetry. So if one half of the mm -hmm. of the mole looks different than the other half, okay. if it's asymmetrical, border irregularity. So if the border is kind of jagged or blurred, um, you want to look at the color of moles. Um, if it's different colors uh, on the same mm -hmm. mole, um, that can be uh, something. To, that can kind of tip you off that there's a problem. Um, you can also look for diameter. So uh, moles that are greater than about six millimeters or about the size of a pencil eraser. Really? Um, yeah, greater okay. than that size is kind of a, a, an indicator that there could be a problem. And then uh, evolution. If it's changing, if the mole is changing color or shape or mm -hmm. size. In a relatively uh, quick time? It, it, yes. Uh, so, okay. you know, if you're doing those monthly self-exams and you're following yeah. and you're seeing changes, you definitely want to follow that up with your doctor. And the big thing is, if when in doubt, ask the doctor. Uh, yeah. You want to get to the doctor and get those things checked out. Uh, the worst thing that they could tell you is that there's nothing wrong with it. Exactly. Um, but you know, early detection, it's, it's a okay. big part of it. Philip, quickly, we're, we're about to run out of time. Tanning beds, avoid them. That's a no-no. That's yeah. right. Um, they, they emit the same type of UVA and UVB mm -hmm. radiation as the sun. Uh, and so uh, definitely want to stay out of the tanning bed. Thanks. Okay. Philip, great information. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us and sharing today. Thank you very much for having me. Enjoy your summer. More to come on our show this Friday morning. Stay with us.